so this is the same uh, footage or the same uh, images area that I used uh, for the 3D modeling earlier. Uh, this is the elevation view though. Uh, green tells us the higher elevation, actually red would be the highest. Um, and you can see roof lines, things like that. So even on this, you can see which roofs were the highest. Uh, and then green and of course blue. And, and I know this area, so I know that this is absolutely uh, correct. The blue goes downhill uh, to the bottom of a, a very, very large hill. If you want to know distances, there's an option over here for this distance tool. Uh, you can take that distance tool. And we'll zoom in just a little bit. And there's a bar ditch that goes across. We'll click once. Uh, we'll go across to the other side of the bar ditch. We'll click, go down and hit the check button. And we'll see the cross section of that. So you can see the bar ditch. Um, it's about two feet deep. Uh, that's what that's telling us. Um, I know that this area here, uh, let's see what the, on the highway is what that really is. If we look at the highway, uh, there's the, uh, the decline of the highway on that hill as it goes down. Uh, but you can take and, and uh, if you want to see actual uh, shapes, uh, you can do roof lines, things like that, uh, just to see the, how accurate it really is. Uh, I'll put it right here. And there's the outline of the building that it's on, which if you go look at the uh, 3D model, uh, you'll see that's pretty close to what it looks like. So, but you can take this and you can see uh, reference points from place to place and, and find out how water flows, uh, elevations from point to point. Um, even if you just want to know distances, how far is that fence line, uh, you know, is point A to point B. You click that, it says it's 349.6 feet. So it's a very interesting tool. Uh, it's fun to use. And uh, there's tons of data. Like I said, you can see uh, very clearly where water flows. Uh, bar ditches, uh, as you kind of go in, you can see this would be the culverts, right? Right underneath where uh, water would flow underneath the roads at these points. It's pretty interesting.